Greetings, I'm Demonac. Now let's slay the spire. Okay, so we're fighting a tree with the summons, dude. That's not great. We want to hear as many shops as possible because look at that cash we're getting from the Midas version. Um, so there's a shop over there. We can hit two shops if we go this way. So definitely this way. We'll probably hit a bunch of elites. We're not going to have that much in the way of choice. Given that we want the double shops. But we have to because we have all the stuff. Okay, this guy's annoying because the anchor guy is, like, wasted against him. On the other hand, we've got first turn either Demon Form or Dark Embrace. Obviously, Demon Form is still better. And then we'll strike. Won't use that pummel yet. She doesn't have that, that stuff. Regen Potion? I don't think so. We're going to hope to... Oh, this guy's got a lot of defense now. Right, he's got plus two strength. Everything has plus two strength because we have the Philosopher's Stone. Because we're psychotic. Um... Two defends will cover this pretty well. Let's uh, blade dance. Headbutt. The blade dance or the dark embrace? Hmm. I guess the sooner I do this, the better. But I, I think we'll just go without it this fight. One guy, we'll hopefully take him out quick. Ow, that's a lot of damage he's doing. This will not kill him. Frig, I didn't plan on him doing quite as much damage as that. We could twin strike him for 22 damage, it will barely kill him. Exactly as I totally exactly calculated and planned. Math. Anyhow, um, <laughs> so clothesline, weak and stuff. Pommel strike draws cards, which I think is what we want, although the iron wave would be nice. If we could iron wave and then get rid of more defense. Because we're very aggro and we're not defending enough. You know what? Oh, I really like the pommel strike drawing cards. Especially now that we have more energy. But I'm going to take the Iron Wave. Because I just do not do enough defensive junk. Um, let me break. Not helpful yet. We have 10 armor first round from the Anchor, which I need to friggin' remember. So we can actually just unload a lot of damage on this guy. Look. We bludgeoned him for quite a bit. Took out all his armor. And now we can Sword Boomerang. It'll knock three charges off his plated armor. We're still going to take some damage. Like, now we want to kill him fast, and we probably can't kill him fast enough. If I head back, head back, back the bludgeon, then we will be able to kill him next round. Presumably. Um, I still need to do some damage to him here, but I can, and still defend twice. Yeah, so if we bludgeon and one strike, we kill him, so we're not gonna we're gonna take a net two damage from this fight. Three plays not gonna do as much. Okay, um so this would com like it that is a combo with the uh dark embrace. Just not like a direct combo, but it definitely there's really strong synergy when we exhaust cards, so that would be good. On the other hand, upgraded anger would be nice, because it's just free, and it, that's another way to play more attacks, especially if we get more card drawing. We have the card drawing right now. Like, two exhausts for one energy. And this would be good. I think we're going to take the anger, and we got to get rid of some stuff. Shop coming up. We'll get rid of some stuff. Question mark says, You have entered a black zone of blackness, where nothing happens, and your face doesn't move when you're talking. Because what the hell, computer? Okay. Turn to you, especially oh, get a reward based on the offer. 
do I have any rare cards that I want to get rid of? I mean, I could just throw in a Dark... I don't know what you get when you throw in a rare card. I don't think I've done it. I want to keep the Dark Embrace, though. That's kind of what I'm going for. Um, are there any of these cards that I've gained that I want to get rid of? Not really. I, I think we'll just take throwing in a Defend and getting nothing. That's fine. Or, I've got 21 cards now. And I've it added one defensive card. Okay, I can't get rid of a defend. I've got I haven't been adding defensive cards, so we'll get rid of a strike. We'll get nothing for it. But it's fine, there was a free removal, so this they can be disappointed all they want. Now Okay, so we could get the ice cream. Ice cream is super strong. You to keep the energy between turns. Although I'm Currently, probably going to use my energy pretty well. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, it's upgraded. We are in Act 2. That could still get some use. Upgrade two random skills. That is going to be to... There's a good chance that's going to get wasted on defense. Although, I've got a lot of good skills to upgrade. Okay, I don't have a lot of skills. I have four defense, a blade dance, and limit break. I really want to upgrade Blade Dance and Limit Break. I really want to get rid of those defense. And how much is that going to cost? 150 We have a lot of money, and we can't upgrade in shops. So maybe that is still worth it. We can't upgrade when resting. Upgrading is actually going to be really hard, so maybe that is worth it. I wonder if the Panacea is worth it. I mean, we're going to have some exhausting synergy. It costs zero. And... Well, I'm not a big fan of the artifact potion, when it's just, like, free all the time, it could prevent a number of debuffs. On the other hand, this is going to give us a good exhaust attack. Draw two cards and put a card from your hand on top of the draw pile. What is the upgrade? Also, why is my computer dying? Seriously, there's no reason. Okay. Oh, it just doesn't exhaust itself. All right, I don't care about that. Draw two, put one on top of the draw pile. That's okay, but I don't. That's not the kind of card I want to pay a bunch of money for. All right, we're gonna remove a card anyway. I did just remove a strike, so I could probably remove a defense. I mean, I won't have enough that much defense if I remove a defend. I'll need to get more defensive cards, but I want to do it anyway because I hate them. And I have so much cash that I am going to buy the war paint. Now that I've gotten rid of that, I am hoping that it will not hit the defense. What happens when you upgrade Panacea? It probably just doesn't exhaust. Gain two artifacts, still exhausts. Huh. Do I buy a Panacea and go with that? And try and upgrade it through this thing. I just ha it taking this increases the chances it doesn't get wasted on defend. I guess my defense will be a lot better if they do get upgraded too. You take this and then it costs zero, still exhausts. Do I want to buy the frozen egg? Like there are no powers in this shop, which is very annoying. There is another shop coming up in a while, so th I don't necessarily want to blow all the money ever. I already actually have several power, a couple of expensive powers. Uh, yeah, it's tough, tough choices. I don't think ice cream is for me. I think I'm going to spend all my energy all the time, for the most part. It's rarely going to give me extra energy, so it's definitely not worth the very high cost. I think I'm going to take the Infernal Blade, because I like that. And I'm going to take the War Paint. I, I don't think I'm going to buy the Panacea. There is another shop coming. We'll see. Two defends. Suck me. That's terrible. And I'm going to take the Frozen Egg, even though it'll probably not pay off. But upgrades are hard to get, so who knows. Golden Idol. Gain 5 max HP and lose 20 HP. Not very appealing. Although, if we've got a rest coming up, I mean, we can't smith anyway. We have a rest coming up. So, okay, let, let's just do this. I don't want to curse. I had to rest anyway, so that's actually pretty much all profit. If 
try the lead. Oh, I hate this fight. This is a really good one for the anchor, though. Oh my god, they all have plus two strength. That's right. Oh, that's so bad. And I don't have any area damage stuff either. Can I just kill, execute one of them right now? I do 32, 42 damage. I don't have enough energy to bash and then bludgeon the same guy, like in the same turn. Excuse me. Before you, like that's a that's close. I'd easily be able to kill him next turn, but ow. Uh, I think we're gonna regen potion. I don't, doing it now doesn't help. Though it's at the end of my turn, right? So I think this fight's gonna go along and kill me. So let's let's demon form and pointlessly defend. And we'll see where we can go from here. This sucks though. Okay, if we Dark Embrace... Oh my god, they're still gonna hit us for a billion damage this turn. We'll draw a card from this, but that doesn't actually help us that much, so maybe not. Um, wow. Well, let's start this thing going. And... Sure, we'll Artifact Potion. Um, okay, we're gonna Dark Embrace. It's not really gonna work, but... So we get from that. Oh, we've got Immolate, which currently does nothing. It just Well, it doesn't do nothing. It'll let us exhaust a card, but it's effectively going to do nothing useful for us. We draw a bunch of cards if we use the Shivs, although Anger is going to give us more stuff, so that'll be more useful later. Oh my god, is he netting us now? No, he's doing damage. It's going to be separate. We're going to get crushed. Just gain 8 block. This fight's already just like a lot of damage always, and then with the plus two strength, it's sick. Ah, oh, can we kill him somehow? Jeez. Okay, we're gaining strength rapidly, so this is going to do like 24 damage. We get back. Moon's not there. If we get back a card, then we're then our next hand is just predetermined to be these. This will double our strength. That'll be worth it. That'll draw us another card, so that is not as predetermined. So, um, wow. I don't know if there's anything there that's worth headbutting. Oh, I guess headbutt anger. That would be good. If we could kill this guy now, it'd be super useful. So we got 24, 40. Oh, we're gonna be like one short, eh? Oh yeah, automatic card drawing. That'll help. And then we can go wham and defend. And now we're not taking that much damage. Yay! Okay, let's uh, go Super Saiyan. Saiyan Rage! Whoa, okay, we're gonna obliterate them. Gain energy while at full health. Well, that would have been nice before the fight. Okay. I mean, this could get us some healing. It's good after we get all our strength. This also could get us permanent max HP. Good when we have all our strength. This would be more defense, of which we are short. Maybe the more... I don't have any area stuff, but this is expensive. This is expensive, but it will prevent a lot of damage. I have to take this, because again, I need more defensive cards to deal with my natural avoiding of all defensive cards. We get to rest for a fair chunk. And box. Bag of draw two cards at the start. Um, 
If we want another heavy blade, a war cry would help us to go through our deck faster. Just draw one, and then we have to place one card back on top, exhaust, which will draw us a card. So it's going to draw us the card that we just put back on top. So it's really just zero draw. <laughs> this is doing nothing unless we upgrade it. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take the heavy blade. Probably shouldn't have. I probably should have taken nothing. Okay. Pervious right now. Not that many of them are attacking yet. Um, strike does nine, so strike plus iron wave will kill this dude. Killing him is pretty sweet, too. I guess we don't need to iron wave if we're killing him because we won't get hit. But then we can't really... Oh, no, we've got we've got f four energy. Right. So we can, for example, bash this dude to make him vulnerable. And then still strike and... What did that mean? That. And we played three attacks. So we got one plus one strength going. So he's going to just give you guys armor. Oh. You're just summoning. I mean, that will get you two more guys. So that is bad, but we're going to do that anyway. And then we're going to bring back the Iron Wave. We just got get the anger going. Probably the anger. Uh, Headbutt will already heal this guy, right? So let's him anger. That's fine. Rally a couple of your idiots. Three. Do I want to double my three strength? It's a little early, but we kind of going early is fine because just we just want to have enough strength to be one shotting these guys mostly. Can I afford to dark embrace first, and then can I still kill them both if I dark embrace limit break? No, because well this this is going to do nine. If I limit break, it's going to do twelve, so it can kill him. So yes, we're, we're going to do this. Break the guard. Mostly painlessly. Die. This would be pretty wasted. We might take six damage if we do this. Two of them would have to hit him to kill him, eh? Ah, I don't want to waste that. This only has a 50 50 chance of killing him, but it's still going to do 18 damage to this guy, whereas this will do a bunch of damage to him and draw me a card pointlessly that I can't use because I'm not going to get the anger back. Now, let, let's just do this. There's a chance it will kill him. It probably won't. Oh, hey! Super awesome it did. I was That was an okay risk, though, because it wasn't necessarily that bad if it didn't. Let's, uh... Heavy Blade is going to hit him for a lot. Oh, he's going to hit me for a lot. Whoa. Hold on. Let's see what I get. Shiv. Shiv. Man, he is doing a lot of damage, though. That, that's, that damage is going to persist. And it's not like I have any way to weaken him. Getting the Iron Wave would be nice. Get Infernal Blade to see what the RNG power gives me. But then if I Heavy Blade, I won't be able to do much else. Uh, see what I get. Clash. Oh, we drew the Impervious. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's do that. I've still got defense in my hand, so I can't use the clash, alas. But that that blocks a fair amount. He's not normally gonna do that much damage, so that should be beneficial. Yeah, he's gonna screw around now. Now that we have the iron wave, but whatever. Die, 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 die. Oh look at that! Not a lot of surviving left in you. You're gonna try and be aggressive again. Die. Random colorless card at the start of each combat. Swift potion. Haven't had many potions this game. I could get another dark embrace. Then I could be drawing like two cards every time I exhaust something. Plus, it'd be more likely to come up. I don't think my deck's good enough to do that though. It's not like I've got enough zero cost stuff. But ah, oh, it's tempting. Another impervious would be okay. I don't want to be drawing like a hand clog of imperviousness. I also don't really want a hand clog of Dark Embrace, but I want to get it earlier. No, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna add these cards. I'm just gonna take the hit points. Hit points are safe. Go here, we'll get the shop. 
Started with the Dark Embrace and the Mind Blast. That's solid. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's play this. And Mind Blasty. Not much from those yet. And we're stronger now, and this will draw us a card, so... Eh. Purpose. Not helpful right now, but we'll kill him soon. I mean, the fight's probably going to be long enough for demon form, but oh, he's going to hit us for a million damage, too. Damn it. Oh, that's draw cards. For some reason, I thought that was a weak potion. Not what I want. Um, we'll block a lot of that. Excuse me, or we could take a bunch of it and make him vulnerable. I've got two more fights, one more rest before the boss. Let's let's do this. Probably the wrong move, but eh. Twelve. So we've already taken a bunch. He's sitting for less this round, which is good. We do not have a lot to limit break. I think we're going to do it anyway just because it draws us a card. Because our hand sucks. Alright, we'll play it. Uh, Reckless Charge, probably not smart. He's doing 12, so that he'd be doing 18, and we'll be blocking 10. So that's not good. Oh, let's just defend. Right, we draw cards for the days from the yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Alright, he's gonna hit he wants to hit for a lot of damage all of a sudden. We didn't budget uh we yeah, damn it. Okay, well. I brought one of those back on top. Anger's pretty good. Do I wanna blade dance? Like it'll draw me a bunch of cards and stuff like that, but we're at currently two strength. This is gonna do 12 damage, and draws a bunch of cards that we're mostly not going to be able to play, unless they're Angers or Mind Blast. He's going to hit us for a whole bunch more damage, and we can't do much about it. Let's, let's do this and try and get some defenses. No. I mean, the Anger means it wasn't a total waste, but, yeah. We can't kill him, can we? You know what? I, I wasn't counting for the shuriken. If I'd done that in the other order, then he would have taken another three damage. Or two, anyway. I guess he still wouldn't have died, but ow. Not attacking. Died. Just worked out badly. Upgraded Warcry we will take. It's just flat out draw two cards. Okay, shop. We don't have as much money this time, so this stuff's gonna be great, eh? Whenever we use a potion, heal three. That's kind of cool. We haven't had that many potions. Three skills in a turn, deal five. When you apply vulnerable, also apply one weak. That thing's really good, but I have very little that does vulnerable. And if I buy this, I can't afford the uppercut, so that's not gonna work. Reduce the cost of the cards in your hand to one. Which would be pretty good in my deck. Now, you want it upgraded, so, well, no, it doesn't matter for much for that. Upgraded to remove that to one, or the heavy blade, or whatever, to one permanently for the rest of the fight. I don't know if that's going to work out to be well enough to be worth it, though. This is deal 20 damage for two, or if I don't play it, it'll exhaust itself and usually draw me a card. The ghostly armor might be good. Actually, shrug it off for cheap is card drawing defense. I don't have enough defense because you know how I play. This is actually probably a good idea, so I should probably buy that. Removing a card, I can't. If I remove a card, that's one fifty-one, one fifty-three, one sixty-three, two sixty-three. I won't have enough money. To get the enlightenment. Ah, I want the enlightenment. Uh, I gotta think about it. Yeah, I think 
I want to take the Enlightenment. I think that's going to make it more fun. <laughs> and then it's like, move a card. Move another strike. You have plenty of attacks, especially once I've played the powers and the angers. More defense and card drawing would be excellent. It would help with like headbutt into and then shrug it off to get the card, which is a good combo. For cheap. Then I can't remove a card. So it's not making my deck smaller properly, but I'm thinking this the drawing a card might be bad. Ah, no. no, let's just let's remove a strike. <laughs> then we got cash for nothing. Alright. Oh, not you again. Oh, you guys are so, so unhealthy. Also, I did not... Um, I was hoping, you know, I have an increased chance to start with the Enlightenment because of uh, the Bag of Preparation. To start with more stuff. I've got the Dark Embrace, which would be great to enlighten. And a Heavy Blade, which currently isn't as great, but still be 14 damage for one instead of, like, a Strike or something. Problem is, if I don't work right, well, there's still like a lot of cards. Like I can't guarantee I'm gonna draw the Enlightenment with one of these, which is the ideal situation. If I drew the Enlightenment now, it'd be fine. If I draw one of those more expensive ones now, not as helpful. Choose an attack from your draw pile and place it in your hand. None of my attacks do special stuff that's super gonna help. I mean, I guess it headbutt, but headbutt, but 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 just butts. Um, damn it. Let's war cry first. We need to put something back on top. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's not going to help much. Whatever I put back on top, if I play the Dark Embrace, I'm just going to draw it anyway. <laughs> I should be playing the Impervious, is what I should be doing. Let's put that back on top. Not that it matters. All right, let's get the Dark Embrace out of the way now, and we'll play the Impervious, which will pointlessly draw us the same bludgeon, but that's fine. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to Secret Weapon and take a card that we don't really want to draw right now, which is the Sword Boomerang. It's, it's not doing as much for us. Also draws us a card, which... If it had if it had drawn us the enlightenment, it would have made the bludgeon cheaper and heavy blade cheaper for. Oh no, it's not upgraded, so that would still suck. But anyhow, if it didn't, then I was making my next hand better in theory. Okay, take one wound, no damage, yet. Um, this also not a great hand, and they're still doing nuclear atomic damage. I probably should have poisoned one of them, but we'll save that for the boss. Draw three cards. So if we draw an Anger, it's good. If we draw Enlightenment, it's excellent. If we can draw Enlightenment and Demon Form, fantastic. Uh, we probably want the Iron Wave anyway, so we can start accomplishing something and get some defense. I'm just trying to figure, is it worth it? We're not going to be able to do that much with the energy, but it could make a big difference if we could draw the Enlightenment. And we can draw more cards by exhausting things. Although, that's not good. It's mostly just the Infernal Blade. Uh, if we don't draw the cards... Oh, we're taking a shit ton of damage this turn. We could get back a defend with the headbutt. We, we still don't draw it because we don't have anything to exhaust unless we waste the limit break. Which I might do if it costs zero. Honestly, because it looks like, okay, we're just not going to have the strength this fight. It's not going to work out well. Let's just not draw it again. But I'm definitely not spending one energy to get rid of that right now. Let's draw three cards like an idiot. Okay. Not helpful. Yeah, that's not helpful. Did not get the thing we wanted. Which is, we're now definitely getting the Enlightenment next turn, and the Anger is also in there. It makes me angry. 
we're going to get obliterated if we play a demon form. We do have the iron wave now, so we can do some stuff. I think we want to get back the bludgeon to go with the enlightenment, but like, damn. Ugh, this is so bad. All right, we're going to definitely play the Iron Wave. We're going to headbutt back the Bludgeon, because we're going to turn it into a one-cost Bludgeon next turn. Which should help us kill someone. So that would just kill him, actually. Maybe we should hit someone else. I wish we had more defense. Oh, we're so dying. Okay, you know what? We're just going to make him vulnerable. That gives us our plus one strength for next turn. And we'll take a lot of damage. And now we really need to kill people. Oh, he's going to stop us from attacking in the future turn, which would be terrible. Let's, uh... It doesn't matter the order I do it. Just enlighten. Use our enlightenment to bludgeon him. Sounds totally legit, right? This one Infernal Blade. Cleave. Ah, oh, I should have done that first. I'm an idiot. Because I could have maybe worked it differently and bludgeoned him to death. Eh, that still would have been a waste. Kind of same either way, but still annoying. Okay, I guess there's a little bit more strength. Not enough. And we're going to take 26 and die. Yep. Pro moves. Phosphorus stone really rough. Didn't have enough defense. Not a surprise. Ah. I'm not thrilled with my draw there, but mostly just fighting those guys with plus those guys are always bad. And then with plus two strength is really bad. So I'm not even I looked at the scores beforehand. There were like 1400s and stuff like that. We got crushed. Whatever. I tried to do interesting things. They didn't work. We'll just see if we can do better next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.